What's going on, YouTubers? I need to give you guys a new statue display update. I've My mind's been running a million miles an hour on how I can fix my display, improve it, and whatnot. So I've decided to move my Terminator bust here. I think it looks much better than dark, Darkness did. I think this is a perfect spot, actually, for it. Because of the way the couch covers it, you almost think it's a life-size statue. And I'm able to fit the arm properly, see it much better. Uh, even display the little net processor and everything right here for a true dedicated uh, Terminator setup like this. So I think it looks glorious. That does also open up a free Stuva show for I currently have my Shazam poster. Uh, I did think about putting potentially Shazam over there, but I found a better idea, a buddy of mine and me were thinking. So I do have an extra spot now for something there. I definitely have some ideas on what I can do. Uh, but for now, uh, I really like how this Terminator uh, came out. I think it looks beautiful. Now we're going to go to what you all have been waiting for, how to make the Lycan bus look better. Because it looks okay in a Stuva, but being a $2,500 statue, it needs to be something better. So this is what I came up with. Boom. So what I've done is I've removed, in essence, one Besta from the Justice League section. By doing so, I was able to scoot this over, put a glass shelf. This is the Bruce Lee glass shelf where I put my extra Besta. So Bruce Lee's on top of a Besta now instead of that glass shelf. So now we have a glass shelf. And if you notice, I did Indiana Jones in each of them. And India is able to actually put the prop fertility right above him. So that looks really cool. Uh, and then... Obviously, Lycan looks a million times better like that. And you can, same height as Marcus, to the left. Now, I still need to do one thing to improve this. I also, let me know what you guys think. And I'm not sure if he wore this, but I put the Lucian necklace around Marcus. I think it looks pretty cool. But I removed the blue rays inside her. Instead, I'm just doing it like this. The Marcus pamphlet, as well as the COA. I need to buy the same COA holder for the Lycan. That's what I need, and I have the Lycan one. And then up here, I'm doing the prop. And then nothing behind there because you can't see anything. But just the movie and the prop right there. Uh, so here is where darkness will go. So darkness looks great. I have him angled slightly towards me. I think it looks better that way. You're able to see his face better. So I have it slightly angled. And then I need to lower that shelf to the same level as darkness because I know Leatherface is going to be about 36, 37 inches tall, which is as tall as darkness. So I'll lower that. So everything will look perfect in just a one-tenth with a movie. If any future one-tenths come out, I'll get them if they fit in there. But then we'll do ghost face and leather face there. So it'll still be, you know, the four next to each other in essence. And then ghost face there, ash middle. And then obviously we have this like that. I think this is glorious and beautiful and very well done. I, I just need to lower that shelf. I'll do that after this video. I've been moving stuff. It was quite difficult to do this, trust me. I had to remove the entire three shelf here, move all the Justice League, move all my half scales, and I hate moving a half scale because they're so effing tall. Move some statues, move some lighting, but I got it to work. Now you're probably wondering, well, where the F are you going to put Shazam? And that's where we come to what me and my buddy were figuring out. So one idea that came to me is I thought, well, if I sold that alien bust, I could do Shazam and Joaquin Phoenix Joker because I still haven't canceled it and just have two DC one thirds right there. However, I just don't know if I want two colorful DC one thirds in a predator and alien setup. This is sort of like more darker, realistic and aliens and predators and whatnot. So I just don't think it would fit. Uh, you know, I have my alien life-size bust there, which eventually I'll probably move that to the right where the Shazam poster's at. And if a Black Widow bust comes out, I'll do Black Widow bust and one-fourth right there. But I was thinking for the last few hours, actually, what about Shazam? I love the statue. I'm not canceling it. I need to find a spot. And I kept thinking, can I put it in with the Justice League? I thought maybe I could scoot the shelf forward, do a shelf behind and have them raised. And, you know, I've seen some collectors do that, but in all honesty, I really don't like those type of setups. I think they look terrible. You know, you have statues blocking other statues. Even if it's higher up, I still don't like that. So here's what I've come up with. Let me shut this door. Wife's thing. So right here, I have an air purifier and about 18 inches of space. I, I 
am able to fit one of my glass shelves right here. I already checked. However, the door would only open to about right there. So I couldn't just put the glass display, but what I can do is replace this door. Uh, I don't know how to make it so it could open inwards. I am no genius when it comes to doors, but there's a door I can buy where it basically just slides open like a curtain. Uh, my buddy showed it to me. It's like 70 bucks at Home Depot. So I basically removed this door and put a curtain door there instead. Uh, so if I need to go inside, I simply just, you know, move it like a curtain. And then I would put a glass shelf here I would love to just put that air purifier inside the glass shelf. However, I don't know how productive that would be. Maybe my smaller one and put this over in the hallway and put a small air purifier inside. I mean, I could also do a statue, but I need to have three air purifiers in this room. Uh, so I just don't know if it'd be effective in a glass shelf. I really don't think it'd be able to circulate the air properly. So regardless, I can put a glass shelf here, which would keep in line of having a glass shelf on each end and would allow me to obviously just put Shazam above it. So all we have to do is replace the door for one that just simply opens up like that. It doesn't have to go outwards. Cause I do go in this room quite a bit, you know, that I have my freezer. So we get food all the time from there. I have my tools and obviously boxes for statues. So if I ever need to sell something, most of the ones I get are in there. But this will definitely work. Now, Shazam should probably arrive in the next few weeks. So I'm going to need to A, purchase another glass shelf, B, purchase a door to replace this, and then we'll be able to put Shazam still with the Justice League because I really ideally want him with the Justice League. I mean, Zack Snyder confirmed today that he is part of the Justice League. And so I really want him with my league, but I had to sacrifice space to ensure Lycan Bus gets there. And Lycan Bus looks much better being higher up like this. You know, because putting them down low, tucked up in a corner, that is no bueno for me. You know, this is an amazing piece of art. It's massive. So it needs to be able to dis be displayed properly like it is now. So as you can see, it just looks much, much better like this. And uh, I put all my Blu-rays just inside here because I'm not putting a statue inside there. So I just put them all in here. Easier to access, more space. It's difficult to access them right there. So definitely better to just put the props. Purely Underworld, Indiana Jones on each side. And I have space for my two future, one third, you know, Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Ghostface. So I think it turned out quite well. Spent the last few hours really contemplating, moving things around and whatnot, uh, talking to a few of my statue buddies, you know, really trying to determine the best way to display this room. And I think this is it. Now, we just got to wait on Shazam and other things, but I think this works. And I really do like the Terminator bus there because I've been really thinking the Terminator bus is the best option because I didn't want to move that wall mount bus. It's annoying to move. Anyways, folks, that is pretty much it. Uh, we will be getting the Bane bust tomorrow. So look uh, look out for that video uh, where that will go there. I have the Queen bust here purely because Prime 1 ain't shipping anytime soon. So there's no reason for me to have that down inside the Maji case. I can enjoy it for the next eight, nine months until Prime 1 ships. So I'm just going to keep it right here for now until Prime 1 ships. Once Prime 1 ships, then I'll throw it back inside there. Once we get the Joker bank robber mask, we'll put that in there. I've also thought, should I keep that little half-scale bust or should I sell it and put a Batman life-size cowl, the Noble Collection one, inside there? That way I have the life-size Joker, Bane, and Batman mask and a little half-bust. You know, I could sell that for, let's say, $650. Batman cowl is $400. Although I still think that looks cooler than a Batman cowl, so that's the reason I haven't done that. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day.